Hey guys, welcome back to the Geek Box, and we're doing another Hitman Classics guide where we're going to be doing the 50 Syndrome Challenge. So, we're going to take out both targets with the 50 caliber mounted APC that they've got, and this is a fairly straightforward one. It's pretty much a lot of the same sort of setup you get. See, so default loadout as well, so anyone can do this. So, let's get it done. So to start us off, we're going to be doing the classic setup. Uh, basically, we're going to cut through to the barricade where we can then knock out the guard, take the key card that gets us in as well, and that sets us up completely, then disguise and a lot. Um, this is all centered around that path anyway. So see this first path I do here, you'll see me use it a lot. So it is a good one to learn because it just gets you an easy military disguise obviously it lets you go to most areas most people don't see through it so we just go around here and jump the barricade and then we're going to get in here obviously keep in mind on the mission there's a load of coins on the desk there that i've gone past so if you ever need to top up there's like five coins there you can grab but yep here we're going to just listen to this conversation see it's basically the guard's going to talk he realizes that he's forgotten to take the key very conveniently and they're gonna then agree that he should take it down through the tunnel and that's where we're gonna get him by himself so following on round we're gonna grab this hammer and we're gonna take cover for a second let him disappear out of sight so it will take longer than this because I did double up the speed of the conversation because I'm sure you don't want to sit there and listen to that for no reason but just he gets through this doorway hit him throw it at him whatever you like take him out of the hammer because you can hide his body here which is absolutely perfect and we're going to chuck him in there we've grabbed his gun as well but obviously make sure that you pick up the key card but once you've done that you've got yourself good disguise as well and we're going to head on down to here so what we're going to do is we're going to use the oil drum here as a distraction for the one enforcer that you have in these tunnels so you make a lot of other noises it doesn't tend to react to them so well but if you do the, the drum then for some reason it's enough to make him actually go over and have a look at it and the spillage holds him for a second as well so what we're doing as he walks away we're going to the plan here on the table not the poison but we're going to read this plan quickly and now we know how to access the gun that we're trying to use so carry on through now what we're going to do is we're going to have to set the alarm off so unlike the honeycomb and that if you've done that when you call him so they meet in the tunnel if you set the fire alarm off in the embassy it will actually cause strandberg to run all the way through the tunnels and then it will go through to the school now as you come out as you see and i've gone to the far left that helps you avoid the camera that's here obviously if you want to stay silent assassin and use the alarm here now that's going to trigger the evacuation pretty quick fortunately he does slow down once he's got through the tunnel because they go through all their procedures and that so there is a wait time on this mission but we're going to head back exactly the same way we came. So speeding things along, so you haven't got to watch it all through again on repeat. We're going to go out the way we came through the tunnel, and it's going to take us out to that barricade where we're going to take a left. Now this is actually going to take us directly to where the APC is. So if you follow on around to the left here, then you'll take a left again. You'll see the two guards, so you know that you're heading the right way. And now Strambo goes through that tunnel pretty quick because he's panicking. Then he has to stop at the end of the tunnel and they secure the package and he has to stop at that barricade just gone past to secure the package so there is a wait time here so i'm going to skip forward from that so as you can see it took about three minutes for him to get here so like i said it's a bit of a wait i mean you know want to grab yourself a drink or something whilst you wait if you want to but obviously as he walks on through he'll go into the center and then you'll also see that the general comes out and joins him this is obviously not a silent assassin mission because of the fact that you're about to blow a courtyard half to hell with a load of soldiers in it as well and there is a cool detail if you actually want to take a moment to look at the screen when you do this the target actually does move and it is actually showing what's happening in front of you which is again attention to detail of this game but basically once the dam makes a way into the circle they'll all start going to salute him hit the button that's how you know they're in place you see the turret will move and Now, with both targets down, let's get out of here. So, 
job done. I hope this helped you out if you wanted to do this again or you haven't done it before etc or it's an easy way for you. But anyway if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to stay up to all the latest content. Of course as always thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all out there.